it's Victoria Rose here. I'm gonna show you guys uh, a morning routine of how we take care of the kangaroos here and how I kind of take care of myself, I guess, um, at this volunteer reserve. And I'll put all the links and everything below of how you can get involved if you want to because they are not funded by anyone, just themselves and volunteers. I'm gonna make a separate video for feeding the wombats because I think they need their own separate video. But this one is kind of like how we prep the whole morning and get ready. So let's get into this. The day starts at 7.30. Waking up at 7.30 is very difficult for me. I know it might not be that early for some of you, but that is a great feat for me. Since we're trying to conserve water, we can't really shower. So the first thing I do is take a baby wipe bath in the morning. I'm kind of OCD with some of my routines, so I still try to put on lotion and try to do these certain things that just make me feel better. I put sunblock on to protect my tattoos from the sun. And I do my best to wash my face twice a day because if I don't, I feel like I'll break out. It's actually very cold here in the mornings, so I bundle up to get ready to go outside. Lastly, I put in a little dry shampoo and just a tiny bit of makeup and we're good to go. This whole process probably takes 10 to 15 minutes. After I go to the bathroom, I then go inside because there's only one place we're allowed to brush our teeth. And I brush my teeth and that's it. This is how many bottles we have to fill up every morning, and this lasts for the whole day. At 8 a.m. we feed the older kangaroos. They get fed twice a day, and then in between they have grass and oats and crackers. Sometimes there's a couple of stragglers that I have to go find to feed them. Each kangaroo has its own eating pace, and they can have one to two bottles. When I first got to the farm, I didn't know how to feed even one kangaroo, but then I got to a point where I could feed like six at a time. This part of the morning we fill up all the little babies' bottles and they all get different feeding amounts as well as the wombats, so we have to measure them out one by one. Sometime during bottle filling, I'll make some coffee to wake myself up. Another big part of the morning is cleaning all the enclosures. This is cleaning other poop, 
refilling their water, all that kind of stuff. The next thing we do is start on the food trays, which will be fed to the adult wombats and kangaroos. <laughs> Good. Yeah, perfect. We are cutting up all of the stuff for the food trays. But is it shit too? I don't feel like it cut as well. Oh. The grip, yeah. yeah. No, it's okay. As long as I don't have to cut the carrots, I'm fine. Because <laughs> so I'm clumsy. Cut your finger off. I know, right? We're gonna layer all these with some fruits and vegetables, and then we are going to start um, making milk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's no makeup here, or very minimal. Okay. We're just surviving out here so for the animals. So we're gonna take these out and put them away because they get fed these at nighttime. We're right, making four, three, three? Yeah, I think three is fine. After the food trays, we start making the milk for the next day. You should make around three to four bags, and this is for the kangaroos. So we kind of just snack in between our chores, and today I'm just having fruit and nuts. Maybe we can do that tomorrow. Because oh. I just opened it and it was in the fridge, so I was like, oh shit. Oh, okay. Oh, wonderful. We also take turns during the dishes. We'll unfold newspapers to put at the base of the wombat enclosures so it's easier to clean up their messes. During the time I was here, it was before all the fires you may have heard of in Australia. So what we did is we raked all around the farm to prevent the fires from coming up and then we'll burn all of the leaves. I also tried to get in a workout while I was out in the forest because it's kind of the only time I had to do it. So then the second feeding for the baby kangaroos is at 12 p.m. The first one is at 5. Along with feeding the baby kangaroos, we have to clean up their mats and their poop and then they get piddled by the more experienced volunteer. After that, we have to clean the bottles every time and then put them up to dry. And that's basically the morning, and then I have lunch, which was egg and mushrooms today. <laughs> oh my god, yes, this oh, is the perfect shot. I think Bolt really Good. wants his board. <laughs> He's it's like, <laughs> mine. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope I enlightened you on how to take care of kangaroos in Australia. Like, I'm here right now and I can tell you the quality of this place and that they don't, they're very selfless in what they give to these animals and they're very well taken care of. That was the morning routine. Let me know below if you want any more videos of the kangaroos or wombats. But the next video will be how I feed the baby wombats. I just had lunch and now I'm going to chill for a second and then we're going to do more feedings and more stuff. It's kind of repetitive. Three or four feedings a day. So, all right, I'll talk to you in the next video. I love you very much. Thanks, trust crew.